Hello and welcome back to Switch and Lever. When you're aching for a cold drink, it's never not a nuisance when you can't find a bottle opener. But surely there must be alternative methods to opening a bottle. No. Nope. No. Please no. 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 Nope. Stop. Don't even think about it. No. N oh, wait a minute. We may just be onto something here. No, maybe don't dangle your keys at the bottle or try to pry off the cap with a key if you still want to be able to get in once you get home. But maybe there is another way about it. Old keys are a dime a dozen, and lever lock keys could actually be reused into something more useful. So, start off with a key that's not being used anymore. You should easily be able to find one of these at a flea market near you for cheap if you don't already have a few just laying around. We're going to fully replace the bit of the key with a new piece of steel, and from it find our way to a new bottle opener. Begin by hacksawing off the bit from the key, and follow up with a file to smooth out the shaft. You want it nice and cylindrical, preferably with no trace of the bit left on the key. Place the key into your mill and mill out a groove about a millimeter or so down into the shaft. Make sure the width of the groove closely matches the thickness of the steel that you're working with. Grind the new bit down to size to fit into the groove. Only grind away as much as you need, you don't really want a sloppy fit between the new bit and the shaft. Make sure it also seats all the way down. Apply bracing flux down into the milled slot and wipe off the excess, and do the same to the bottom of the bit. Add a small piece of bracing rod into the slot and start heating up the shaft and the bit both. Once the bracing rod starts melting, place the bit down into the slot and make sure it again seats all the way down. The bracing metal should flow up and form a nice fillet between the shank and the bit. The brace will flow wherever you put flux, which is why it's important not to put flux just all over, but rather to be precise where you apply it. Allow everything to cool down before proceeding. Seriously, just go have a coffee and come back in a bit. Take some scotch Sprite and brush off the surfaces. Once they're somewhat clean, you can color the surface with a marker and start laying out the geometry of your opener with a scribe. You essentially want something which will hook under the cap, while also providing leverage to pop the cap off, and of course, still looking pleasant. I tried to keep mine as close to looking like a real key as I possibly could, but really, the only limit here is your imagination. Once laid out, grab your hacksaw again and start removing excess material. You could start with files as well, but it would really be a fool's errand to file what you could just saw away. Of course, with the majority of the excess sawed off, it's time to break out the files. Start with coarser files and work yourself down closer to your layout lines, and finish off with finer files and fine-tune it up to the line. Remove the marker die using some solvent. Yeah, I only put this shot in here because it looked cool. Time to test out the bottle opener. Hook it under the cap and fail right from the get-go. Well, that was disappointing, but still somewhat expected. Time to go back to the files again and fine-tune the geometry of the bit. We need a little hook to be sharper to reach under the cap, and the sloped piece in the front to have a little bit less of an angle. You may need to go back and forth a few times to keep checking until it finally clicks in and works as it should. Final step, clean it up with some fine grit sandpaper and make sure to remove all the burrs. 
Since you're going to be carrying this around in your pocket, it may also be a good idea to polish it up a bit to further round off the edges. Be careful though, the key could easily snag in the polishing wheel and send your bottle opener, and at worst you, flying across the room. When in doubt, manually polish or use a Dremel with a polishing wheel. Ok, so I lied. The actual final step is enjoying a work well done. And if you got this far, by golly, you deserve it. Hope you enjoyed the video and by all means check out some other material from Switch and Lever. There is really no shame in binge watching. Make sure you jump over to Instagram as well, as I will be giving away one of these bottle openers to one of my followers. Read the full details over at Instagram. Until next time!